Hey guys, it's TTL back with another rush kit for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Sabretooth Z170S. Now you may have known this by the tagline Sabranco before when they made the previous version, but it seems to have been lost in translation with the newer boards. But I'm just going to bust it open. Uh, essentially now these are the suggested retail price from Asus on these boards is uh, 166 pounds although some of the retailers i know are going to be charging a little bit more because it is a suggested retail price on the uh, main article on the oc3d website we will be linking to overclockers oc uk uh, for the pricing i'm just waiting to get that through now because literally uh, li five minutes ago i've asked them if they can get it listed for me because they haven't yet but in the box, what you do get is you get your Tough Series uh, mother, uh, motherboard five-year warranty notice, your normal user guide with your driver CD inside. There is a certificate of reliability because the whole point about the Sabretooth range is the, uh, the Tough. You can see about the Langard and then the capacitors and the MOSFETs. And this just goes to show that it's been through all these uh, vibration tests and solder bath tests and salt spray tests just to show you uh, how, um, I want to say bomb proof really. There's a CPU applicator. I personally don't like these, but you know, if you do, then that's all good in the hood. We had the uh, um, uh, crossfire bridge. This is a little filter for the fan that actually doesn't come with this one. <laughs> um, you get some SATA cables, a nice blue, a blue, colorblind tom a nice white backplate it was the b that was confusing me nice white backplate following on from from the one that was with the one before and then that's just your um onboard headers there so when we get back to the board itself taking it out of the box we can bring it up nice in front of the camera and we should really zoom out a little bit so you can get a better view now, uh, the first thing that you'll notice is the armour is gone. And I was all over the place there because I try and do everything with one hand. and I probably shouldn't. The armour has gone. And you're now thinking to yourself, well, what armour are you on about, Tom? Well, I happen to have the original Sobranco board here. So I can put the two side by side for you to have a ganders about. So we can see that you've got uh, more of a camo effect. This is on the uh, Z97 one. You've got more of a camo effect here and you did have the armour on it as well and the back plate. Whereas with the new one, you have none of the armour, although uh, electrically it's pretty much the same as the original Sobranco. Sorry, the original Sabretooth. And there's no armour on the back either. But the most important thing is with the new Z170S, it is significantly cheaper. This model was over £200, and the original Sir Branco, Sir Branco, I keep saying that, the original Sabretooth, so the Z170 Sabretooth, um, the suggested retail price on that is £229. So there's quite a big uh, price uh, drop on this. Brings it into the uh, territory of being um, uh, accessible by more users. But it's going to be up to you whether you think it's a bit of a uh, an oversight them not having any of the armor at all essentially it is the just the armor and the back plate that's missing from the other saber tooth and the white coloring so technically you could get the uh, back plate and the armor from the other saber tooth and bosh it onto this one but what we do need to do is uh talk about something quite cool with this one this one has got if we zoom in the camera hopefully will focus. Da, 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 gets there eventually. Now you can just about see that little tough logo on that chip there. Now what that does is it brings an extra um, three of the uh, fan headers this because there are lots and lots of fan headers all the way around this. There's 12 in total. Um, and it, uh, there is a uh, mobile app uh, that you can, as long as it's, you have to be on the same network, you can't use it remotely. So if you're at home, and your PC's doing something like a, a long render or something like that, you can actually use the mobile app to go in and uh, take a look at temperatures because there are sensors all over the board. There are fan headers literally all over the board as well. Look, you've got two there. There's another one there. You've got one there, three across the top here, one there. So there's a lot of fan headers scattered all the way around this board. There's another one over here I'm just noticing. But there's also a lot of um, uh, thermal probes as well. 
uh, and with the app you can keep an eye on all of that you can set the fans up to do stuff you can even set little alarms so if certain parts of the board get uh, hot you can get it uh, it can be set to warn you but we've obviously got the tough component tree as well that's the capacitors uh, and the chokes the MOSFETs underneath are as well they're all designed to be pretty bomb proof but even though these boards are designed for longevity which is what they are they're designed for long you know uh, faultless use we have found over time when testing the saber tooth boards that even though they're not designed for it they are very good overclockers as well and there's a lot of um, uh, uh, options in the BIOS again for fan setup and monitoring temperatures and all that type of stuff and that even goes without the fact that we've not even really spoken about the design on the board yet now uh, I have to admit I personally do miss the armor but this uh, camo effect on the board itself I think is quite nice it would almost be nice if they had this version without which was cheaper and then you could either buy an upgrade pack with the back plate and the front or you, there was another board entirely just with that kind of jumped on the top because I, I think it, it does feel like it's missing something but I think what they've done is they've brought the white down um, to uh, be a competition for the uh, other white boards that are available or the other white board I should say because there aren't really very many options out there at the moment something I do like and this is obviously a takeover from the Sabretooth but you can see we've got the chipset heatsink here but then you've got CPU, DRAM, VGA, uh, boot and then power and there are little LEDs down on the board and these light up they're almost like your PCI test to so say your power light will come on it'll go through the stages of boot, DRAM, VGA so if the uh, system hangs or something and it, uh, it, the light will show up so you can tell we do have the M.2 here and it does uh, support the new long M.2s that are coming. There are some um, manufacturers, I know Kingston have announced it, that they're going to have an M.2 with a one terabyte drive, which will be these really long ones. Uh, 110 millimeter ones rather than the 80 ones that are here. So that's quite cool that you've got that. Around the back here, we do have the uh, SATA and the SATA Express. I still th think and hope that SATA Express is going to die because I, I don't see the point in this now. And then when we come around the back, you've got four USB 2s, uh, BIOS flashback uh, one there that you can use. We've got a uh, BIOS uh, clear button, display port, HDMI, two USB 3s, USB 3.1, both of these are, you've got the C and the A. The, the Langard, it's a digital, um, a digital, I really not got my words today, have I? Um, a gigabit LAN, but it's got the Langard uh, built in around the uh, back. So basically, it's like shielding, and then you've got your uh, digital audio. But the audio has also got the little trail to help keep it better. It's one of the more uh, basic uh, ones that I've seen from the Asus um, stable. But again, this is more about the, uh, you've got the tough component tree uh, with that uh, aggressive price point uh, for a Sabretooth product or a tough product, I should say. Of course, you can see that we've got tough up here. On the, uh, uh, the original Sabretooth, you could take this out and pop a fan in. You could also put a fan on here to allow um, for cooling as well, which is why we've got this kind of big gap here. But obviously with this one without the uh, full armor we don't particularly need it and i wouldn't be one to be telling you to add in um uh, extra fans and stuff anyway so that is our saber tooth z170s if i put them side by side what do you think about the uh, new versus old let me know what you think is uh, um i normally do have the older version of the boards laying around but where these are obviously very very uh, unique in the white nature and we've had such a big change from one to the other I thought it was worth bringing the other one out but for now at least this is Tiny Tom Logan with your rush kit preview on the Asus Sabretooth Z170S Sabranco out <laughs>